Today I have a book review for you. It is for The Book of Lost Names by Kristen Harmel. This is a World War II historical fiction and it follows a woman named Eva. It takes place in two different time periods present day and also, of course, World War II. Um, and as I mentioned, you're following Eva primarily. She is Jewish and she ends up becoming a forger. And she helps not only children to cross into Switzerland by forging these identity documents, she also helps people who are involved in the resistance. So she helps a lot of people. And the Book of Lost Names comes in because a lot of these people who she's helping, like I mentioned, are children and they don't have their parents around anymore and so she is trying to maintain a record of their identities so that when they cross into Switzerland with these new names with these forged documents there is a record of who they were and so hopefully their parents can find them or they can even just know where they came from. World War II historical fiction is hands down one of my favorite genres. I generally find myself really transported by the stories and the characters and I generally end up feeling something pretty tremendous and crying because how can't you? It's it's the Holocaust. It's, it's an extremely moving time. Um, this book kind of fell flat for me. For the first half of the book, I was kind of wondering if I was just sick of World War II historical fiction or what was going on. I wasn't very interested in picking it up very often. I did not find myself to be very transported. I wasn't connecting with the characters. I did not feel like they were very well developed and they felt kind of one-dimensional to me. It uh, was more of a budding romance sort of book than what I was looking for. Now that said, I am a scientist and I was really interested in the forgery process and, uh, and I felt like that was very much lacking. It felt like they would come upon a problem like how to remove ink, for example, from some of the documents. And instead of going through their thought process, it almost felt like magic the way they resolved it. So they'd sleep on it overnight or, or one of them would stay up all night working on it and then all was well and they figured it out. Uh, so on the bright side, it sent me down a rabbit hole and I ended up finding a New York Times documentary about a man named, named Adolfo Kaminsky who was a real life forger during this time period um, who the book was largely based on, uh, the Book of Lost Names. And it went through his processes in this documentary about how they were using uh, even like a bicycle tire as a centrifuge and how they were creating these documents when they really didn't have much of anything to go off. And so if you're interested in kind of a budding romance during World War II uh, and and hearing a different take on World War II, as I said, it's it's about forgery and, and that's, that's kind of the undercurrent. Then I think you'll enjoy this. I wanted more meat on the forgery process and so I, I feel like that very much colored my feelings about the story. Um, so I think that I did find another book that I will be looking into. As I mentioned, uh, this Adolfo Kaminsky, who is still alive, he created documents and was able to save, it's estimated, around 14,000 people from ending up in the concentration camps, which is just amazing. And his daughter wrote a book about his life, and so I think that one might be more up my alley. But I would love to hear from you if you have read this book, and I would also love to hear from you about what your favorite uh, World War II historical fiction books are, please write it in the comments below. I'm very much looking forward to reading your recommendations and getting this conversation started.